Comments to uh, Rock, to Caitlin of Rock, to Caitlin of Raw Caitlin, and you can sort of see that in my uh, video comments. Look for Raw Caitlin. That's R A W uh, R, and then Caitlin. Uh, look for that in my video comments, and you'll see that we're talking about uh, YouTube as a community. And since it's a community, that you can go around on virtual visits and you know hang out with people for a bit, and you know whoever you know, you find interesting. And one of the girls, uh, I did go end up going by, uh, her, uh, I don't, I only know her by her channel name, it's Pink Stitch, uh, 333, and her information will be in the down below bar, you know, so you'll be able to go follow her and take, you know, take a look at her channel. Uh, I went by there, uh, uh, very nice channel, uh, very nice, uh, girl, she's, a, she's, a, a, a starting out as, as a beauty guru. Uh, her videos are really interesting. I, I find her videos interesting. But the more interesting part is, and this is what I like about this, and this sort of work, uh, is for me, it's, 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 yes, the looks have to be there to a certain degree, but it's also more about the personality. You know, if you can sit and watch her and sort of be like hanging out with her and, and listen to what she's saying, then that's a good thing. And one thing I noticed is, it, and you'll see I'll have the, the, the information here, the, the graphics right here. Uh, what I've done is I've gone and looked at her uh, work to see what she's done in terms of her uh, beauty work. And there, there are several types of gurus out there. There are uh, the gurus that are, there that are, they may have a nice personality, but I'm not a type of person who's into a lot of heavy caked on makeup. And you can see them, they, they, when they do the tutorials. After they finish the tutorial, there's an outline of the mask right here. In other words, the makeup has been properly buttoned, so you can see that they're actually wearing makeup. And this is particularly true when, when they're walking in the rain or whatever. You see, you know, the face starts to melt and everything. Um, but for myself, is uh, I want to. If, if you're meeting a person in, term, in terms of uh, beauty and whatever, you know, uh, uh, look at the person's uh, beauty. You want actually want you actually want to see the person, unless of course you're doing something for theater or cosplay, and we will be getting into cosplay later on uh, in Beauty and the Geek because I feel cosplay should come into here. Uh, it is cosplay does to a certain degree come into IMAX, so we'll bring bring it in, into Beauty and the Geek more here uh, in later episodes. But as I was saying, is that I prefer to see the girl as she is naturally rather than having. Uh, uh, her under a layer of makeup, or several layers of makeup. And this is what the, this girl does. Uh, is she doesn't have on layers of makeup. She has uh, a very simple uh, uh, approach to makeup, a very natural approach to makeup. To makeup. And even this is even true when her eyebrows, and this is one of the, the sort of the pet peeves I have. And I don't say things, these things to other girls. Like, I won't... If a girl ha ha doesn't have the right eyebrows, and I'm talking about, uh, <laughs> somehow girls feel they need to sort of sculpt their eyebrows. And for me, if whatever eyebrows you were born with, that's fine. I'm not going to make an eyebrow the issue of whether or not I, I like you or not, in terms of even being physically attracted to you. It's a matter of, for me, if it's natural, that's the better way to go about it. And her eyebrow, 
are more natural looking. You, there's a, see, there's a bone here. There's a bone right here on the, under the eyebrow. And a lot of girls, they'll either take out all the eyebrow and pencil something in, where you can start now, all of a sudden you see a naked bone here. You know, a little bump, uh, and a little pencil line. Or they'll do it so thin that the bone ends up showing, you know, if, 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 if the eyebrow does not follow the bone line. In other words, if you're shaping your eyebrow, your eyebrow should follow your, your, your bone line here. That's the way it should be. It should be following the bone line. Uh, other than, if, if you don't do that, what will end up happening is the bone will end up showing in, uh, up against the uh, eyebrow. So, in other words, if you have your eyebrow above the bone, that's not good. But if you have your eyebrow below the, uh, the bone, the bone sticking out here, that's not good either. So, and this girl does a very good job at it. You'll see that her eyebrows are right on the bone. They are shaped to a certain degree a little bit, but they're very, the, the shaping is not noticeable. So. That's where I find it, uh, uh, you know, a good thing. So, anyways, uh, go by her channel. It's uh, Pink uh, Pink Stitch uh, 333. Uh, she is a new beauty guru. Sub to her uh, because she doesn't need subscribers. She's still at around 35, 40 subscribers. And if you can sort of bump her up as much as you can, that would be a great thing. Anyways, that's it for this edition of uh, Beauty and the Geek. We will try to come back at least once a week, if not more. Uh, so it's going to be a minimum of once a week, uh, 10 minutes, and about there. Oh, and I'm going to I'm going to try and aim for two episodes a week. So, anyways, see you next week for the next episodes of Beauty and the Geek. Take it easy. Bye bye. Democratic Earth. Earth.